Hey guys, it's Lynn here for Superimpose X and today I'm going to show you how to make your edits look more natural by using a tool called Lightwrap. This is a brand new tool for Superimpose X and it's so incredibly helpful. Here we're looking at the before picture and here is what it looks like after using Lightwrap. As you can see, it's a very subtle change, but when it comes to edits like these, it's all about the small details. They are what makes the image look either natural and real or just completely fake. So what exactly does the Lightwrap tool do? Well, a lot of times we mask out an image that we then used as a foreground and place that on top of a background. But even if we do a great masking job and try to match the colors of the background to the foreground to make them blend better, it still doesn't look very natural. This is usually because the lighting is different in the background versus in the foreground picture. In a real life photo, the lighting of the background affects the foreground too. For example, a bright sun shining in the background typically gets into the edges of the foreground picture too. The colors in the background also often get reflected onto the foreground and these two things can be very tricky to replicate in an image that wasn't taken in real time. Therefore, this technique is typically just used by professionals. But now, this has been added as a built-in, ready-to-use tool right here within Superimpose X. So let's take a look at how it works. Here we have a background picture of a landscape with a picture of a girl in the foreground. We did a great job masking her out, but she still just doesn't really look like she's part of the scene. The background picture looks like it was taken right before sunset, while the picture of the girl just has regular daylight. Because of this, the light and the colors in the two pictures don't blend very well. The first thing we're going to do to fix this is select the background layer, go to Editor, and choose the Focus tool. This will make the background blurry and give more depth to the photo. It's also a great way to make the photo look more natural, since the focus would have been on her in a real-time photo, which would have led to the background getting slightly blurry. Next, it's time to add the light wrap. Select the foreground layer, go to Layers, and choose Light Wrap. Light Wrap consists of two different tools. Spread, which also comes with opacity and blend mode so that you can control the look of the spread, and Ambience. Starting with Spread, this tool will bring in the light and colors from the background to the edges of the foreground. In blend mode, you can change how the light and colors blend with the foreground picture. Overlay is the default blend mode and usually the one that looks best, but screen, multiply, soft light, and hard light can also be useful. For this image, I'm going to go with hard light. Now that I've chosen my blend mode, I'm going to go back to spread and use this slide to control the amount. And then in opacity, you can adjust how opaque you want the effect to be. Lastly, we have ambience. Instead of only adding the colors from the background to the edges of the foreground like Spread did, Ambience makes the whole foreground picture soak up the colors of the background. As you can see, it's adding different colors to different parts of the foreground based on how it's placed against the background. This is what really helps create that natural look and why it's so difficult to recreate manually. So here we have the before and the after. If you feel like the effect is a little too strong in a certain area, you can use the mask feature to mask out the effect from part of the image. If you change your mind, just tap mask again to change the mode from paint to erase, and then you can start erasing the mask you created to bring the effect back. Once you're happy with how it looks, tap the check button to accept the effect. If you don't want to add the effect, tap the cross button in the top right corner instead. Here you can see some other examples of before and after pictures when using the light wrap tool. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials for Superimpose X. And if you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to send us an email through the contact us option inside the app so that we can help you out from there. Bye.